Yes. Ce qu'on vient d'entendre, c'est J-Red The Doctor featuring Lo Pesci and Maurice Regal. What's that song called? Cold Nights. Cold Nights. Yes. It gets Co cold out here, man. Cold Versus also, man. Came through and made it snow. Christmas. Sheesh. We have the, the baritone prince himself in the studio. Yes, sir. How are you, man? On est là, on est là. I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Yes, been sir. hustling. That's it. I've uh, been working. Uh, we also have a special guest. Bang, bang. Mm -hmm. Mr. Justice McFly. Yo, je suis là, man. Bonjour à tous. C'est HOQ. You know? Okay, okay. Straight from the DJ. Yes, baby. yes, you know, yes. Shout yes. to White Sox for having us, you know? You're yes, from sir. DG, right? Yeah, bro. That's you know, right. Fielding stand up, baby. Right at the corner store, you know? Oh, you know where man. to find us, baby. Uh, I've been to, to, to high school in DG, so <laughs> I think that's where I heard your, your name. Very possible. I went to eight of them, so. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Me three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, J Red, you just released a, a, a new album, um, man. Like I like I said last time, it's it's a it's a step up from the last one. I appreciate it, man. Man, uh, every time you, you surprise me with some some more uh, so, with some some more nuances to your style. Mm. Uh, I, I I like the choice of beats there. Yeah, they're they're a bit different than than usual. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what did you have in mind uh, coming coming up with with this album in particular? Was Honestly, the process different and? Not really. It was a, uh, I mean, Pac Man. It was like a longer process because it was songs from like years ago, just mm -hmm. kind of thrown together. This one was all. All this music was made, you know, in the past year. Obviously, mm. only like one of these, maybe one or two of them were made before Pac-Man came out. Mm -hmm. So I had maybe two in the tuck that we did like in the fall. But everything else came like from January to about the last session was when? April? Yeah, exactly. Maybe even May? No, April probably. So yeah, it's all from like the past few months. The process was pretty similar. It's really just an extension off of what we built with Pac-Man. I felt there was momentum there, so I just wanted to keep my foot on the gas and, mm. you know, come back with the next one, double up on them. Mm. Um, you feel me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You have some, some very uh, special guests on there. Yeah. Um, some, uh, some of them we, we, we don't really hear about. Uh, I mean, uh, don't hear about enough. Mr. Justice McFly on Escargo. Yeah, he's back. You know, yeah, I was, man. I was on sabbatical for a yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The That's kid, what I figured. The kid broke me out of retirement. <laughs> yeah, that was the last song we did uh, for the album. He mm -hmm. he made it. I wanted this this out even like last month, and then it was like, yeah, Justice, Justice about to get on it. Let me know. Actually, facilitated that, and that was a great idea by Lemmy. But mm. he's like, yo, Justice is gonna hop on it. I said, all right, all right, bet. So we had to push the album back a little bit, but it was well worth the wait. We got the big dog on it. Zimmy. And uh, yeah, we're here. J Justice, uh, oh, c c could you for the f For the listeners that that don't really know you enough, uh, could you like give us a quick round of, sure. of I mean, what like, you did, like uh, discography wise? Yeah, no and, doubt. Yeah. I mean, shout out to the homies N5 Northern Lights. That was the click back in the day. Mm -hmm. You know, we was one of those wild groups. It was almost like the the English Wu Tang kind of from LaSalle and, and DG. Um, I pretty much roasted everybody in the city when it was those freestyle battles. Somebody caught an L for sure. I think Bad News was the only person from the city to really beat me. God bless the God, you know. But um, Rest in peace, yes, man. Yes, yeah, be forever. But yo, you know, we did uh, four albums of the M-City mixtapes, uh, 13 Under Pressures, a lot of shows, open mm -hmm. up for some really big acts, you know. Uh, shouts to the man Dutch. Another ghost we got, you know, put us on a lot of shows. And, um, yeah, we had a good run, me and the homies, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of, everybody got into daddy duty and all of that. Yeah, so we yeah, kind of yeah. fell back. Real life took over. But, you know, 
uh, some of the younger gods that's out now just cooking so much heat right now that they were like, yo, my G, you got to come jump on this track. And I was like, you know what? The music is at a, at a certain plateau, a certain bar that it makes it easy to get that competitiveness with the pen going again, you know. So it's good to sit with my man, the doc, all mm -hmm. the homies, all the mm -hmm. producers we fuck with, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard uh, I heard uh, also a track with Pro V recently. Yeah, that was the god, you know. I mean, that's my brother, right? Like, And he was like, yo, he didn't even have to really push the buttons too hard, but he mm -hmm. was like, yo, my G, I need you for this joint. He sent, we get, went to the crib, listened to the joint, and I just snatched this priceless piece. And, you know, now we dubbed it Immaculate. And, uh, you know, it was real <laughs> easy to pen that one bars just shot onto the page real quick but you know uh let me on the visuals my guy you know but uh it was a masterpiece that whole project was fired a lot of these same dudes that's on this uh double up album on mm. that project you know so mm. coalition of big dogs you know mm -hmm. big dogs only yep. yeah you saved me. um <laughs> yeah man big big track is cargo um i think we're gonna hear live performance of, uh, uh, of yeah, that one yeah yeah someone like yeah um you also connected with one of my uh one of my guys from france mm. yeah manast yeah big dog international ah. uh cob65 yeah. all that yeah 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 yeah. we tapped in with them uh, a few weeks ago out in paris he showed us around that's the dog man we're in touch now like that's my dog uh, mm -hmm. i, I met with uh Man is heavy, and uh, it's a crazy track that we got him on as well. Yeah, and, and and it and it also makes a lot of sense considering your two respective styles. You have like the, I I think, you, I mean, recently uh, I've tapped in a few times with uh, Low Pocus, and uh, you know we had that conversation mm -hmm. about you like not really fucking with that side of of of, uh, of hip hop. Um, that his his particular style, um, but you you manage to like like go into that uh, uh, progressively, uh, and uh, I I think I think like the the, the 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 switch maybe was with Speedmaster. It sounded like mm. some uh, something that Lopocus could have done yeah. in a sense, yeah, 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 and yeah. Ed Rock also have uh, that that nuance to to his uh, beat make, making. Uh, skills uh so what made what made you like tap in with that more uh i mean player playeristic mm. yeah yeah style no it's just fly it's just fly shit it's yeah. like as much as i i do a lot of kind of grimy sounding things i really like like shinier sounding things as yes. well you know what i yes. mean like we got gold watches we got jewelry on you know the sun hits it we're shiny outside like mm -hmm. We got to do stuff that sounds like our life, and like yeah. when we're riding around and it's the sun's out and we're getting super fly, like that's what it sounds like. So that's what it feels like. So I had to tap into that side of it as well. I always, I always like those beats. I just don't necessarily rap on them a bunch. Yep. But uh, me and Lil Pocus got a bunch in the tuck with Rigo right now, mm -hmm. and uh, and yeah, 80 flipped that beat. 80 does a lot of darker beats too, but he's got that flyness. Yeah. He's got that fly, fly player shit as well. So. Sure. Uh, yeah man I love to tap into that side really like it um, you you also have some some OG's on there uh, RVLR Mags oh, yeah. uh, with that that's a great track by the way yeah see that, like, like that's dark you know what I mean yeah, that's kind of the darkness and then you know it, what I mean it's the darkest track on there I think mm -hmm. it's uh, come I mean and also the the, 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 the the video you came out with like really set the tones for something but you came you, you came back with other sounds that we didn't expect so right. I, I like I, I like the the I mean I, I, I would I would like to to hear uh, mags on more soulful samples right yeah it's I, coming I mean, it's coming yeah we'll, it would we'll be make interesting that for to, sure. to hear that absolutely um, so so that happened the same same way just clicking uh, just chilling the mags joint was he really set that off like he set the tone for that i knew i wanted him on the album and i just sent him a beat i had no lyrics on it or nothing i had okay. no direction so he really kind of he laid the foundation on that and then from there it was easy for me because he already he put a verse on it he put a chorus on it mm. it, it, 
with a ribbon. At that, yeah, at that point, like, my my job's easy at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Max you know I mean? has has this like this prodigy uh, uh, vibe to to him. That's the big dog, man. man. Yeah, I, I've been telling people it's the, the toughest pen in the country. Facts. Yeah. Street yeah, yeah, music yeah. wise, you know, he does it all, man. That's the guy, you know. Facts. He's he's too overlooked in my opinion, but I'm happy that he's getting his uh, his flowers right now. Absolutely, uh, man. With, with the project that he came out with with uh, with AD Rock mm -hmm. last year, yeah, yeah. and also continuing with those these, these feature runs. Uh, I would uh, I would be happy to have him here uh, for for another project if it comes out. So, no doubt. man, um, Jared, uh, educate me. What's a doozy? Uh, a doozy? Yeah, man. Um, it's just something that is like uh, like extraordinary. It's just mm -hmm. like you, you cannot really even describe it. It's just a doozy. It's just. It's like man, that's it's immaculate. It's extraordinary. It's mm. it's almost too much. Like I, yo, that's a real doozy, you know? Okay. It's just a doozy. It's like that's a, that's a good question, uh, White Sox. I can't even like, I don't even know what the definition would be in a dictionary. But it's like I don't know. It, it's just you feel it when mm -hmm. you hear the word doozy. You just know what I mean. <laughs> it's just a doozy. You know what I mean? Yeah, those But kinds of words. It's ten out of yeah, ten. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's a doozy. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, Uh, I think you also have a couple, of, uh, a couple of joints in the stash with with Shab, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Well, I got. I mean, they're not in the stash anymore. Now they're out. But um, okay, the two of them that you did. Yeah. So he he. I have two Mike Shab beats on there, and he's featuring on one of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're gonna uh, hopefully we're gonna shoot a video for that soon. J Red, I wanna I wanna play some tracks off the album mm. before we we continue talking. If if you don't mind, mm -hmm. uh, I got a couple of my favorites. I wanna play. Yes, sir, it's a it's a, one of my favorite albums of the year my yet. Dog. For now, I mean, who oh, knows man. what can happen? But and, and you you know you know what I what I like. Yeah, we, facts. we talked about it. So. Facts, facts. Uh, I think we're gonna go with Doozy. Uh, I, I was gonna rap that on the air, though. Oh shit! All yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Okay, we'll, so we'll, we'll go with we'll go with another one. Play to player. Shout out to Manas. Big shout out to Manas, Fire. my dog. Let's do it. Pull Here. hip hop. DJ White Stocks. J Red the Doctor. Justice McFly. Uh, uh. Shout out to Let Me Know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Year, year, year. That's right. I did it. <laughs> I was gonna do an, say another word, but then I switched up. You got it. You got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Um, Morris Regal, tell us, tell us about the, the 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 greatness of this man. Of Morris Regal, he's oh. a myth. Yo, shout out to the legend. He's a myth for real. Like. He still can't really like speak English very well, but he's wrapped Crazy. circles around. You know what I mean? Really? People, Yo, I mean, he can speak English. Obviously, he can maintain I a mean, conversation, yeah, but like yeah. he raps in English a hundred times better than he speaks English. Wow. Hey, guys, it's a real francophone, là, okay? Mm. Man, shouts to the guy. He crossed that over easy. Mm. Yeah, man. Shouts to real. It's 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 incredible. Like I, I can't really, I can't say. I can't put it really into words. It's just like this guy's a myth. Mm. He's he's crazy. I don't know. Mm. Right now he's probably on like the side of a cliff, <laughs> like uh, with a tent, doing something very I don't know majestic. He's probably got like a few fish that he just caught, chilling in a cooler. Shit. He's about to what's he, he's about to skillet or what does he call it? I don't know. <laughs> Bro, this guy can fend for himself. Like he, he, this guy hunts all the food that he eats. This guy doesn't eat if he didn't. Execute Catch, Eat what you kill The animal You know what I mean <laughs> Eat what you kill I've seen it Oh man Morris Yeah he's a special yeah, guy yeah. Special guy man Morris Trigo I, I've, I've known his music For uh, for some years now uh, He did a couple of, of albums With uh, Yearly Yeah Yearly Which I loved Um And I can't wait for him to come back uh, with a, with a solo joint. That would be that would be crazy. Oh, he's working, man. He stays working. Um, so um, 
what's what's next for J Red? What's happening? Um, you have a, I think you have a lot of material in the stash right now. Yeah, there's a there's things there's there's things in in play. Um, me and Low Pocus and Regal. That that's probably what's next project wise. Mm. But I mean, right now we're 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 rolling out uh, with Double Up. I mean, this thing is like two days old. Um, there's gonna be more videos. It's gonna be maybe a couple performances around the city. Um, oh yeah. Project wise, yeah. What's next? It'll be probably uh, me, Regal, and uh, Low Pocus. Mm. I don't want to mm. speak too much on that. We haven't fully, you know what I mean, tied the knot on it yet. We haven't wrapped the the ribbon on it, but uh, it's 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 getting there. And mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, in the next few months, we'll have a we'll have that coming mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, I would like to know maybe like before we 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 go into the performances, um, what. J Red, what are you listening to rap wise? What's what's I haven't giving? Listened, I haven't listened to anything but myself. Oh really? For like you're that type all of, of type of not, artist. Not always, but I, I was kind of when when I have an album that's about to come out, and I kept thinking like, okay, it's gonna be out in two weeks, and then it kept getting pushed. And so I've just been listening to Double Up for like three four months mm. i haven't checked there's projects i still want to get to i never even got to check the larry june alchemist right. project i uh, i haven't checked anything like mm. sure i'll still i'll still throw on some songs that i know by other people when i'm at the crib or whatever but when i'm in the whip it's been double up for months mm. <laughs> you know what i mean you got we were just listening to it in the car on the way here so mm. i really haven't been listening to much you know what i like we spoke about it a bit last time but um no man, I've been listening to J Red the Doctor. That dude's crazy. Doctor, it, it, is it is it like uh, intentional to uh, to keep yourself like uh, concentrated on yourself and on on your music? Is it a way to not be influenced by by yeah. other stuff? Yeah, it's 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 partly that, but it's also like like I said before before it's released, I'm still working on it. Even mm -hmm. if the song's done, I'm gonna listen to the song. A thousand times just so i know it's perfect i might i might go in and and add an ad lib mm -hmm. you know what i mean i've booked a studio session for one hour went in the booth and and, and went like this mm. <laughs> and then left <laughs> and paid him Facts. that's the type of shit that's why like i'm listening to it a thousand times mm -hmm. before it comes out because there might be a little i might ah, ah, mm. and that's it and that's okay. the final touch it, 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 it's all in the subtleties like you said the nuances Mm -hmm. So uh, that's really why I'm listening to it over and over and over. And then once it comes out, like now I'll probably dial it down, stop listening to it as much, maybe listen to some other things that are coming out. But now we're going to have this little pokets thing. So now I'm probably just going to start be listening to that like compulsively. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I hear music when I'm out. When I'm out, uh, I hear other music. But I think yeah. just, to, you know I mean? just to throw two cents into that, I think that as a professional, right, because like, Dudes ain't just coming off of the couch with this, you know, the man's work, I think, is just showing out in the music, you know. So I think that as an artist myself, I look at that and I say, yeah, that's what you should be doing. You know what I mean? You want to give the people a classic, you got to sit down and really take in the project and all the mm -hmm. music, you know. So kind of par for the course for the greats, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what's up. Just Doc. Shout out to Pole Hip Hop and DJ White Sox. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I never sniffed a line, I just spit my lines. And from time to time, I gotta switch my line. She said I ain't the man, but that bitch is lying. I just spent three grand, so my whistle shine. I just served three dimes in the nick of time. I deserve three dimes on this dick of mine. Drop a ill of rhyme, cause I got a sick of mine. I'ma need some new fiends, cause I'm sick of mine. I might need some new friends, all these new ends got me in some brand new threads. I don't do trends, I could cop a brand new Benz just to snooze in. I'd rather pick two bricks just to move them. Got at least two chicks trying to move in, but they gotta hit two licks before I choose them. And ten times out of ten, I'ma choose me. That's why every time I drop, it's a doozy, Doc. Mm. Yeah. We 
you hear, man? J Red the Doctor, double up the album, out now. Mm. See, I've been chopping bags, you've been copping skag. I've been hopping in and out the jag. That was not to brag on the ass, and I got the jump. I'm not the one to play with. I just pop the trunk, big pop a pump. Gotta add tax if you want the front. Shorty, let me hit her from the back anytime I want. Or she just bless me with some neck gay time a month. She called me a stud, but I ain't trying to stunt. I'm just trying to puff six to seven blunts with my Henny cup. No funny stuff. Stay down. Let's get this money up. Remain humble, son. It's troublesome. Just pick two packs. Let's bubble some. Mm. Doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know, baby. As Big dog told me in his mind, you know? As Here. As Gonna jump into this real quick. Yeah. As Say I don't make music enough, but I'm still important. Trying to push enough bricks to build a fortress The whip's imported Ain't pretty boy Floyd, nigga, I've been this gorgeous Smooth with the skin is Gore-Tex And they coke the purest Don't mumble rap or auto-tune I'm a hip-hop purist Marketing checks from insurance Game sick, me and Doc got the cure, bitch Jordan with the flu My nigga, this game six I'll leave with every bitch that you came with Nothing sick chains in the wrist and the cane flips The game still call and my fiends got the same itch We run it a six man where he came off that part of bitch Smoking top tier in that E400 Talk a good one, but you don't really want it When the big dogs coming Plush leather, big chains and thick things In the spot with your spouse, fuck up the couch like I'm Rick James Drink Ethan, spit flames Hot snow, be the cargo Play the part though, leave me 25 just like Leonardo Drinking ES cargo. Mmm. Feel me? J Red the Doctor, double up out now. We here with Justice McFly. Mm. I'm out in Mexico with Javier and Jose. I'm so paid, I ain't hearing what a hoe say. Came through and made it snow, it was a cold day. Fast money, I don't know about a slow day. Fiends stay hailing me for flour. Talking about the powder. Cocaine, pay me by the hour. You think the bitch is yours, she really ours I think that she a whore and that you a coward She trying to get me raw, but I won't allow it The way I move snow, you would thought I plowed it The way I'm getting dough, you should go applaud it The way I got this paper, you would think I'm frauding But I ain't with the scams, I just get the bands My junkie want a grand, you just on the grand My tracksuit costs a grand I'm on the coast of France My flows can induce a trance now snap out of it When I'm at a bitch house, I trap out of it I got a satchel filled with sacks and some stacks and some snacks Just don't make me pull the strap out of it I move peas, you're a peon I'm somewhere overseas looking real European Either see him in Rome at the Coliseum Or we in Paris eating mm. 160 Dog Shout out to DJ White Sox, man, Paul Hip Hop, Justice McFly, Big Dogs Only, let me know. J Red the Doctor. Shout out to you guys, man. That you know, was crazy. Oh, man. Some light. Uh, come back anytime, guys. Sure. You're, you're so welcome. Appreciate you, man. Bye bye. We're going to.